Good morning, guys. It is today's Tuesday. Tuesday, November the 27th. I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, we didn't have, we had a few different family things that we had to do. Um, but I mostly, I just held the hubby in the garage with all the changes that we're doing out there. Um, we leave for Florida in three and a half weeks. So that's exciting. I'm so ready for the warmth. I just feel like the older I've gotten, like the cold has always drained me and I've hated it, but the older I've gotten, like it just makes me almost in a depressed mood. I hate it. I am ready for the sunshine and the warmth. So, all right. So today, this is gonna be a very short um, video, but I just want to post my updated bulking. I think I'm at three weeks. Am I at three weeks? I wanna say I'm around the three week mark. Um, I have went from like 111 and, and a half pounds, I believe was what I started out at. God, I should have looked at this stuff before. And now I'm up to like 116 and a half. So I've gained a little bit of weight. I haven't been that strict on my eating to an extent. Um, I've had pizza a few too, too many times, but when I mean by like I haven't, like I'm not going and eating McDonald's, okay? I can't eat that stuff, it messes my stomach up. So I'm still eating relatively um, good, but I'm just splurging a little bit more and being more carefree, which is what it is right now. Um, Yes, that's going to make me put on a little bit more fat. I get it, okay, but life is short, and I'm all about balance and being happy. And if pizza makes you happy, then eat it sometimes, all right? Because that is what your girl's going to do. Um, I haven't gotten my work. I've been working out, but they've not been as strong and intense as I would like. Because, like I said, the garage workout area is under construction, kind of. We've just been moving stuff around. So I haven't been able to get intense workouts in. I've still been getting them in though um, and trying to be active. But I've definitely noticed a significant change in the lower half of my body, um, which is great because that's where I wanted to put muscle on at. Um, and I still have a little bit of average. So I'm going to film this video real quick because it is after eight o'clock and I am starving and need to eat, but I wanted to film this video first. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else. I should have been checking my measurements, but I have not been checking my measurements. I should have. But I just want to show you guys updated of what my body looks like right now. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? The muscle milks have been a lifesaver because I know I've mentioned I love the muscle, muscle milks, but I've been pouring them in a cup and putting some granola in it and drinking it, and it's freaking so good like my obsession right now it's it's I guess it could always be worse but that is my obsession right now that is what I absolutely love so I've been drinking those quite often okay only one a day maybe two sometimes usually only one a day um I don't use them as a food supplement usually I will do that after I get a workout I will drink it and then I'll make my lunch and eat that about 30 minutes after I work out. So that's just what works for me right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the update. All right guys, current physique there. I wish my lighting was better because my lighting sucks right now and it's still dark out. Um, but just my legs and my booty gains are freaking unreal. My waist is still staying pretty small. I still have abs, but you can't really you can kind of see them but the lighting sucks so I'm still keeping my abs um, a little bit should have taken off my hoodie so you guys could see upper body but my most drastic changes has been in my lower half so I'm pretty excited about that um, and the fact that I've still kept abs because, like I said, I've gained probably like five or six pounds. Um, I'm going to close out this video, but before I do so, I just wanted I, um, to let you guys know, like, 
the scale is the devil and that's just pure that just proves the whole matter of fact about that um because i've gained like roughly six pounds but if you're doing it a healthy way and you are doing it an accurate way and you're not just okay well i'm going to try to gain some muscle so i'm going to eat reese's and i'm going to eat donuts and i'm going to eat pizza every day and i'm going to go eat, eat mcdonald's and burgers and fast food and blah 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 okay if you're doing that then obviously you're going to gain an unhealthy six pounds or 10 pounds or whatever your goal is 20 pounds but if you're doing it in a balanced way and the way you should be which i'm not 100 percent do not get me wrong like i said i've had pizza twice in the last like week so i am at fault too but i'm not eating it I'm not eating donuts for breakfast and then pizza for lunch and then pizza for dinner or fast food for dinner. Like I do it in moderation and I'm all about balance. And if you do it the right way, you're gonna gain. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, did I gain some fat? Absolutely. I mean, I did. And you know, if I would, if I were to be bulking, like fully healthy, then maybe I wouldn't gain that much fat. But you know, I'm going to indulge. It's just a part of life. It's just what I do. I'm all about balance. And I like to enjoy some of the things like that with my family. So that's just not going to change for me. But I'm doing it in a moderation way. And for the most part, a balanced way. Which is the only thing for me to be able to do. Because that's just what works for me. Um, so as you can see, like I still have some abs. My waist is still pretty small. Um... It seems to be most of my weight has went to my thighs and my booty, which I'm okay with because that's what I wanted. So let's just hope that when I thin out that the gains are there um, and, pretty, and, and pretty good ones. Like I said, I'm freaking going to ramble because your girl needs coffee. Um, but yeah, so what I'm just trying to say is that don't be scared of the weight, the number on the weight. You could weigh 200 pounds, but you could still be, you know, have, and if I weigh 200 pounds, I don't know what I'd look like because I'm five foot two. I'm super short, but let's say that you weigh 200 pounds. You could be 200 pounds a healthy way or 200 pounds an unhealthy way. I'm like roughly 116 right now. I could be a one, say I've been a 116 unhealthy me before and I'm 116 pound healthy me now and the difference is unreal. Like I have ran into people that have said you like look so much smaller than you did back in the day, blah, 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 which I've always been a small girl and to me that just kind of seems crazy because I'm not, I don't seem, like to me I don't feel smaller but again like I'm, um, athletic now not athletic but I work out and I lift weights and I am active and so the difference is is that I might not be smaller to me than I was then like the scale doesn't say that I weigh less than I did then but I'm just healthier now like I take care of my body now and I eat better things and then so that's just the that's just the difference I wish I had an older picture so I could do a side by side I might have to look for one because I just, like, I was a very unhealthy. I was drinking a lot then, um, well, quite a bit on the weekends. I was drinking, and then I was eating processed fried food, and I wasn't healthy whatsoever. So, that's just the difference. If you take care of your body, and you bulk properly, or you lose weight properly, like, you're going to get muscle, you're going to get... The goals and the process that you want you just have to do it right that's where people fall off track um all right i'm gonna stop rambling now because i said i was gonna be done and now i'm another 10 minutes into the video um but that's just my bulking update i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys later